that sets it up in the ebook right here. I just then I can drag this anywhere on the ebook I want. See how easy this is to use. It's incredible. Uh, once I highlight it, I can uh, resize it with a little resizing area down here in the bottom right hand corner. So we'll just go ahead and well, let's make it like that. I don't want to get too particular here. And I can use this edge over here to drag it over there and make it a little bit closer to the edge. Perfect. I like it. Let's go back up here. I'm going to uh, select Insert Images now, and that takes me to their default in-house image library. I could go to Choose File and choose a picture from my computer that I had saved um, into my photos or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use one of theirs. They have, um, I could have gone to my uploads or things, other things that I had saved. They have abstracts to choose from, which are those, graphics, or all of these things here shapes I could use to insert into my ebook, stock photos, um, all of these different things here. Let's go ahead and select this one. And this is an attractive young lady holding up a blank book. So we'll put her there. I'm going to resize her significantly for my ebook cover. Let's make her bigger than that. And give her some actual proportional scale here. Oops. I told you I wasn't a techie, but uh, that's a good thing. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, she's holding up a blank book. Let's give her book a title. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I went and I clicked um, Insert Text. It took me back to the text window. I'm going to insert some new text. Generate a color for it. Go ahead and bring it into my ebook. Now I'm going to resize this text down to a nice size that I can use as the title of the book that she's holding up in her hand. Let's get that a little smaller. Yeah, like that. You're getting the idea. You're probably thinking, oh, I could do this much faster than he's doing it, and I'll bet you're right. Close enough? Yes, and you get the point. I mean, you really see how easy this is. I mean, I'm just kind of with my fingers telling it where to go and what to do. That was pretty easy. Let's, um, I might as well say who this book is by. We'll keep it the same color, keeping with our KISS principle, keep it simple, student. Voila. And we'll do the same thing with my name here. We'll make that nice and sized correctly so I can put it right down here, drag it down here, put it right there. Voila. Let's do one more little thing here. Let's go ahead and insert an image. I'll go back to their stock graphics image here. And um, let's see what we've got here. Here's one, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. How could it be otherwise? And I'll just drag that down here. Resize that a little bit. And so there you have that there, and if you were wondering if it was going to be a great book, there it's telling you right there on the cover. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed, no doubt about it. Let's move her up just a little bit. Oops. That moved, uh, you see how those are, are two separate uh, graphic items? Well, I could have done that and just moved the title up to where she is. How about that? All right. 
Now, once I've done all of that and I like the way it's looking, and by the way, over here is the spine of the book. I could have created another title and inserted that into the spine so it would look like a real book sitting on your shelf. I think you get the idea. We'll just keep it simple for now. Now I'm just going to go up here and, cl and click on the finalize button. And what happens is it sends that, uh, that little piece of creativity up to the, the magic cloud and uh, starts working on it and mulching it all together. Usually it takes about 20 seconds to a minute a minute is about the longest I've ever seen it take. And there you have it. It comes right back um, with the ebook cover. And look at that. Uh, I just love it. It uh, looks like a real book. It's all shiny. Um, has a shadow down here. I could, um, by the way, click over here and put any background color to that that I wanted just by clicking on the palette here and selecting a background. Or I could select a transparent background and it would just show up as that and you can insert it into whatever piece of media that you have and you need. And then I can download this uh, to any file I want as a 3D or a 2D. If you're uploading or downloading book covers to Amazon, for example, you'd want 2D. If you're downloading it to your website, you would select 3D or you could. And, uh, and that would be it. You'd be all set to go. So that is how easy it is. Um, I'm going to do one more quick one just to show you something else. If I do the exact same thing again, now this time I can go to Choose File instead of selecting one of their default backgrounds. Let's go to my little events thing here. Here's some beach scenes that I've saved. I can, this is my iPhotos. I can say, let's go ahead with the iPhoto that I've picked, a photo that I took, that's why I'm calling it iPhotos. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, there's a photo that I took. I can then do the exact same thing. I can drag across there and say, here's how much of this photo I want to use. That looks fine. There it is. Go back up here to insert text. I'm going to go ahead and insert that text there. We'll, since that was kind of bluish, we'll change that text to something brighter like that. That should stand out. I'm going to click on there. There's my text. Resize it to fit it into the book a little bit easier like that.